we're going to have a few videos going over lights because we haven't talked about them much in motion. And the first one we're going to cover is a request I had about making a light source. Now let me explain to you what that means. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to select a triangle, a rectangle shape, and draw a rectangle shape, okay? Now I'm going to go to my... I'm going to add a camera. So I can go to my perspective view. Okay, now I can twirl around here. Now we have our little rectangle. Now I'm going to let's open up our layers. Okay, I'm going to select that rectangle, and I'm going to Command D and duplicate it. Then I'm going to hold the Shift key and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. You see, it'll it'll click in 45 degree increments if you hold the Shift key. Now I'm going to take this back like so. And we'll even these up a little bit. Let's go to our quad view. Like so. So now, as you can see, we'll be able to make our adjustments a little better. Let me adjust my screens in here. Now you can see down here in my top view that I can get a little bit more of an accurate representation. Okay, there's that one. So now let's go ahead and duplicate this one by hitting Command D and let's pull it straight across to the other side. Like so. We're just slowly building us a room out here. And you want to adjust these to where everything, you know, looks not don't have to be airtight, but we want it so we, you know, don't get too many light leaks. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and select this one. Let's duplicate it, duplicate that one, and let's rotate it down. Like so. And we'll pull this one down into place. And that one all went screwy on us, didn't it? Let me pull this one down into place. And I'll rotate it. And we'll take it back up. Like so. Okay, now I'm going to straighten this up a little bit here. Zoom out. Now, just bear with me, you know, we're just laying these, roughly laying these in here. It's not, um, got to be super accurate or anything like that. Let's make it a little longer, because that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, now we got this basic three walls and a floor. Okay, let's go back to our one view. And from straight on, you can see we got just a some walls and a floor. Okay? We can even these up. If this that kind of stuff bothers you and you want it to be really even, then you, you can you can do that. That's fine. I mean, it just depends on how picky you are about this kind of stuff. Okay, now as you can see, I have a group with all my rectangles in it, which makes my box. Now let's go ahead and create another group. And this group's gonna house my camera and my light. So now let's select that group. Our camera's in it. Let's put a light in there. Now you can see what we're talking about. We've got a light source. You can see our light. Okay, when I move this around, we have a light. But there's no source for the light. Like a light bulb. There's no little light bulb emitting the light. Like if I wanted a certain piece of material to be emitting light, how would I make it look like it's emitting light? It's just the light is just there. There's no source. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to put this light inside this camera group, okay? And I'm going to select the group, I'm going to go to my Shapes tab, and I'm going to draw a circle. And now we've got this little circle here. Okay, let's select it. And I'm going to, we're going to move it forward here. Like so, I'm going to rotate it to where it's straight, up and down. Now as you can see, we have this little circle here, okay? So let's move it over here and let's put it inside of our 
source, our lot source. Let's zoom in so I can see here. Now you see when I move it forward a little bit too much, it goes black. Okay? And if that's what you want, if that's what you want your source to look like, if you want your source, your lot to look like it's coming out of that blackness, you can do that. It's up to you. But I'm going to adjust it around here to where the blackness isn't showing and it's white like that right there. Now we have this white circle there. Now it looks like this white circle is emitting our light. Now if I wanted to go in and, and up the intensity of the light, you can do that. Okay, now if you look and see, it looks like this little circle is what's emitting our light. Okay? So, what do we do now? Okay, well, you select the group with your light circling camera, and when you move it, you can see the light moves right along with that source, with that circle, that source circle that we've made. See when I move it? See there? Now it looks like that's this circle here is, is um, emitting the light. So we select the group, and you move the group as a whole, and it moves everything. And I'm not sure if I'm explaining this well, but it looks like this little circle here is what is emitting our light. We actually have a source now for our light. Now you can go in and turn this off where you, this, you can't see this. Okay. So there's that. Let's see. Well, is there anything else I'd like to show you guys here? Um, no, I guess that looks okay. That's okay. I don't think I want to get into any other lights right now. We'll do that in future videos. But basically, I wanted to show you how to give your light a source. Okay? Instead of the light just acting like it's there, if you want this light to actually be connected to something, this is how you do it. Now this light is connected to this little... Um, circle that I made and this could represent a light bulb or anything of that nature that you wanted it to represent so there we go now we have our light but now we have a source from our light it looks like the light is emitting from that circle now this could be a triangle like I said a light bulb or anything else if I turn my circle off it looks like our light is just kind of floating there. There's no source for our light. But when I turn my circle on, it looks like the light is being emitted from that circle. So that just gives us a source for our light. Remember, stick the light and the circle in the same group, and when you move the group, it'll look like your light. The circle is the light source. You can see down here in the preview camera what it looks like. You see that little dot it looks like that's the source of our light. Now when I turn that circle off and I move it, check out down here. We're just getting the light there, see? But when I keep that circle on, by George, we actually have a light emitting source. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.